What's going on you lot? Midi here. So there's a few things that have been added into Rebirth Island. Would I say they're Easter eggs? Mm, slightly. I'd more call them mini Easter eggs. Kind of like what we saw before where, you know, you're getting a key card on the old Rebirth map. And, you know, you're just doing these short little tasks to get you a few little rewards going on. There's a few that have been put into the game. I'm going to go over each one for you. So the very first one is going to be the bullseye room if you guys do the black market contract and finish this you're going to be able to buy these special grenades these stun grenades if you stun yourself kind of give you a little bit of a hint on these mini easter eggs a bunch of numbers are going to come up on your screen so for example let's say this one it goes 2 21 12 12 19 5 25 5 if we get a alphabet to number it actually spells out bullseye now in the bottom left side of the map kind of into the town area you are going to find a bar if you end up going in here you're going to go up these stairs here you're going to see a dartboard simply what you need to do is get your throwing knife throw it somewhere near the middle and the door to the right is actually going to open up here you're going to find a bit of extra loot maybe an extra weapon which is like a redacted weapon you know it's got all of the attachments on it and a few little weapons maybe a bit of money where i've randomly just been in here you know fighting another team and i actually roll with throwing knives on my loadout i feel like everyone does in rebirth anyway obviously you can find this but getting in here early it's going to give you a few little bits of money maybe a weapon if you're seriously desperate you know maybe you come back into the game no loadout it's a possibility if you've got to throw enough around that you're going to be able to get into this building. But it is right here on the map. A small little Easter egg, nonetheless. Now, the next number that comes up using these grenades spells out nice vintage. So if you actually head over to the terrace area over here, you're going to find on the rooftops, normally just sort of on the walls and kind of split out. In that sort of area, you're going to find these wine bottles and you can just go up to these, equip them. You need to find two. And I am going to say they're quite well hidden. I feel like this is probably more of the harder one. And not only that, you have to carry these bottles and go all the way to the keep with them. So after you find two kind of scouting around the area a little bit, you will find them. You'll get used to the locations. Sometimes they spawn in the exact same area. And if you're running around this map, super sweating it out, like it is very easy to miss these. You know, you've got to slowly move around and actually pay attention, seeing them on the ledges, seeing them on the tables in that area. Once you've got two, you then need to sneak all the way over to the keep. It is on kind of one of the top floors and you need to come around here and just follow the route exactly where I'm going. And it's going to lead you to this little wine shelf. You need to just go up to it, interact with it. It's going to put the two wire bottles down and it's going to open this little secret passage where you're going to find a golden shield. You're going to find some extra little weapons, a bit of money. It's random what's actually going to be here. But, you know, it's a nice little Kickstarter to maybe going into the game. And there is, of course, a melee weapon which you can go and actually grab. I feel like this is really hard because the keep is always full of people. And to go around the terraced area to find these bottles and then run all the way back to the keep without dying is a task within itself you got to remember as well if you die you're dropping the bottles you can pick them up off people's bodies that is the whiny streak if you actually want to do it now the next one is going to be the grenade actually spells out all pay respect so this is of course in the graveyard area and i feel like this one can either be super easy or sometimes it's actually extremely hard but all you need to do is find three candles walk up to them interact they are going to light up and once all three of them have been done you're going to hear an audio cue of some little zombie murmuring and making a weird noise you then need to go up to this gravestone interact with it to pay your respects and lo and behold a zombie actually spawns now this is an ai it's going to chase you down it will chase anyone in the area and after putting some bullets into this it is going to die and it's going to drop a bunch of loot normally self revives armor satchels maybe a few weapons if you're lucky now you're probably thinking oh what else can we actually do at the graveyard you can actually find a spade which is going to be another little mini objective that you can do maybe you know you don't want to go to certain areas you want to play a little bit more sneakily you could go down this route where you can get a weapon super early if you get the spade that's in the middle of the graveyard you can head to any sort of beach line around the map there's actually a beach near the graveyard there's one at smuggler's cove and i'm pretty sure you can go around near the lighthouse or anywhere which just looks like a beach on the near the bayside especially dig these little lumps in the ground once they've been dug up they're going to drop like fully low kind of pretty decent weapons like swisses mp40s decent guns that could actually start you off i feel like the spade is actually a really good tactic to do easy money you're gonna find good weapons to start off with that's if you can get your hand on that spade you of course then have the option to find another spade that spawns in the lighthouse as well so you can go up there and do that i don't know if there's any more locations for the spade but if there is you guys let me know and i'll definitely have to check it out and of course the same thing like the wine bottles if you die with a spade you are gonna drop it so be warned you're either gonna find this off other people randomly or you'll going to be the one that dies with it so try to get that loot as quickly as you can the next sort of secret that you're going to find around this rebirth map is going to be this little broadcast station it kind of actually looks like the thing that was on the original rebirth map it just looks like exactly the same you can go inside here and for 5,000 cash you can start occupation scan so this is kind of what happened in that last event i don't know if a lot of you actually realized this it was like going to be an in-game event you can come here and manually do this once you do this you need to get ready to actually go prone because this counts for you as well what it's going to do it's going to scan the entire map kind of like a uav 
and anyone that's not prone when you scan this are going to come up kind of like an advanced UAV. You're going to see everyone. And a lot of people in the moment probably don't even care about this. There's a lot of sweat slipping and sliding about. They ain't even going to be laying down. And you can reveal everyone on the map. Now, kind of... It is really key that you kind of remember where this is. There's going to be scenarios in the game where it's going to be last circle. Maybe there's a team pushing you and you've got the extra money and you know you're going to die. You could just pop this off, help your team out. And I feel like it is really good to sort of hunt people down with this. I don't think a lot of people actually realise that this is here, but it's just another addition added to the game. We've also got the little helicopter in-game event, which you're going to see, and probably a few of you are probably like, what is actually going on here? Randomly, a helicopter is going to come in for the in-game event. It's going to drop a money bag, kind of like plunder. You go up to this, you just do the action button. It's going to drop loads of money i was able to do this twice and it's also going to drop a bunch of ais that are going to shoot you there a little bit annoying to see on the map it can act as a distraction or even bait you out and shoot in your direction but if you get there early it's going to be a really good place where you can just make yourself a lot of money now the next little easter egg and i'd say it's like a mini one as well kind of like the spade one is going to be the fountain so if you go over to this area and drop any lump of money you're going to get saint pop out of it who knows what it's going to be? It's going to be a normal weapon. It's going to be a kill streak. It's going to be a perk that will come out of it. It's completely random. And you can do this and you're going to, you know, it's going to poop out a little bit of an item. So I feel like every little area, there's something to do, even if you have a bad start. But knowing these kind of these little mini Easter eggs, maybe it could get you out of tricky little scenarios. You know, maybe you could sneak into this doorway. People are not even going to know about it. I don't know. I just feel like these mini Easter eggs are quite cool and they're quite fun to do. If you're not someone that likes dropping into the super sweaty areas, you've at least got a little bit of a chance of, you know, digging up some crumbs on the beach line. Who knows? But guys, that's going to be the video for all of the Easter eggs, kind of mini Easter eggs. I think I've covered everything that's new into the rebirth. I'm definitely going to do a lot of footage coming over the new guns right now. I've got tons of gameplay tons of really good wins so if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe and leave a comment on what is your favorite easter egg in this game is there any that you like or do you think that most of these are actually quite lame let me know i'm going to leave you guys with this absolute mk11 noob tube win which just has to be featured on this video hope you guys enjoy this little clutch that i got with the noob tube showing you that it's still overpowered and i'm going to be doing a lot of gameplay clips so get ready to see them Oh, 